Question, the member for Davenport. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. This question is for the Premier. Speaker, parents and education workers are counting on this government to keep students safe and schools safely open. We know from the experts that in order to do that, we need a broad, asymptomatic, and truly accessible testing program. But despite a commitment to conduct up to 50,000 tests a week, the ministry is reporting just 3,706 tests completed since late January. In what's become the practice of this government, school boards are scrambling to establish testing systems after being given just days to prepare. In the meantime, the number of schools closed due to the outbreak doubled since last week. Speaker, where are the promised safety enhancements in schools, and when will we see a truly comprehensive in-school testing plan that matches the scale of this pandemic? To reply, the Minister of Education. Well, a very interesting admission from the education critic that under the NDP plan, they would mandate compulsory testing on parents, students, and staff, unlike any jurisdiction in the world. In this province, Speaker, Order. we are providing voluntary choice to parents, but yes, we're making it accessible, more convenient, and local. That's why we've stepped up the testing capacity. The Minister of Health through Ontario Health has already provided symptomatic and asymptomatic testing to public health units throughout this entire pandemic, certainly since September to the present. But in the Ministry of Education, given the variance of concern, given the new challenges we face as a province and country, we have expanded capacity. In asymptomatic testing programs that were unveiled as recently as yesterday, the average rate of positivity in Toronto, in Peel, in Hamilton, Ottawa and Sudbury is 0.8%, 86% demonstrating, I believe, that the rate of transmission Response. runs low, but underscores the necessity to keep our vigilance up to keep our kids safe. A supplementary question. Mr. Speaker, they're slow walking testing in this province. It's outrageous. Speaker, it's not just parents and education workers asking these questions. People for Education released preliminary results of their annual school survey today, and it paints a very bleak picture of overworked school administrators trying to keep up with constantly changing directives without the resources and the support they need. 73 per cent of principals responding to the survey ranked enforcing physical distancing as a top concern. Concern. One said, and I'll quote, it is impossible to keep students socially distanced. I have class sizes of 24 to 27 students and can't possibly sp space them out to eat at lunchtime. Speaker, through you to the Premier, if the goal is to keep schools safely open long term, why are we still seeing up to 30 kids crammed into classrooms in this province? And the Minister of Education respond. Uh, Mr. Speaker, this is a once in a generation crisis that our province is. Uh, standing up to make sure that our schools remain safe and that our schools remain open. That is a position that is a contrasting one in this legislature. There are two parties in this House that would rather our schools be closed. It was the words of the member opposite a month ago when community transmission was around two to 3,000 that said it, we didn't have to have it this way when schools were closed, which thus would conclude you'd keep them, you keep them open at a time of community transmission of 3,000 cases a day. We have cautiously, Order. against, against, the, against Order. the position of the opposition leader, we have cautiously reopened the schools. We're actually the only province speaker in the nation that cautiously Order. reopened, waiting till those rates got down, while we expand capacity for testing, enhance our, 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 enhance our uh, requirement for screening before a child enters a school, Response. and of course, mandated masking all the way down to grade one with a better quality mask. This government is on the side of parents. We're on the side of teachers. We're going to keep our schools.